The University of California Davis is home to a lot of cows, but also students, faculty, and staff that are proud to be a part of one of the world's most sustainable universities. But we're not just kicking back and basking in this glory. We've got plans to do a lot more. The University of California pledged to become carbon neutral by 2025, and UC Davis has a plan to get there. But such an ambitious goal is not going to be easy, and things are going to get a little messy along the way. Hi, I'm Michelle. And I'm Veronica. And we're interns for facilities management on the energy and engineering team. And we're here to tell you about UC Davis's largest energy distribution project ever and why we're so excited about it. To keep our buildings warm, we burn natural gas here at the central heating and cooling plant to make steam, and then we send the steam all the way through campus where it's then used to warm the air in our buildings. Oh, I think I've seen that steam. It comes right out of the ground, right? Um, actually, what you're seeing is energy and natural resource waste. This. You have a hot cup of tea, but now you gotta run it over to the Death Star, one of the furthest buildings from the plant. But actually, you're a UC Davis student, so you're gonna bike. But when you get to the Death Star with your cup of tea, it is no longer hot, and you've lost some along the way. So that's basically what happens to the steam that we generate here at the CHCP. By the time it gets all the way out to the buildings, we've lost about a third of our energy. What? No way. That's so tragic. So, hold up. Doesn't burning gas emit carbon into the atmosphere? Ugh, yeah, I know. It's gross. But that's when we're shifting over to a new method of heating. The steam pipes used to heat the buildings need to be replaced. But rather than replacing them with the same fossil fuel eating technology, UC Davis is making a big shift. So what does this mean for everyone on campus? Well, a few things. With the launch of a large-scale construction project that is literally laying the groundwork for reducing our campus reliance on fossil fuels, you will notice a lot of construction in high traffic areas such as the quad. We are going to start sending hot water through campus, so we need to update the piping for this change. We're calling it the big shift. Also, the hot water doesn't need to be generated and maintained at 350 degrees Fahrenheit like our steam system. Because who needs it that hot anyways? Because of this, we can use renewable sources to heat the water. Additionally, with updated insulation for the pipes and a lower temperature, we get less losses in energy on the way to the buildings. So when the water gets there, it's still hot, which is basically a win-win. UC Davis is constantly striving to trim the waste, and the big shift will allow us to be the first UC to be carbon neutral. Now, we know we might have to bike around this construction every day, but we can see it as our efforts to fight climate change. Road closed? That's okay, shit happens. 